Hello everyone and welcome to the All About Favor show. This is the Walk in Favor Network. I'm your host, Pastor KZ. This is your midweek word. I would like to draw from the New Testament book of the Holy Bible, Romans chapter 12 and verse 19. And I like to give you these scriptures that you can read along with me or you can read them at a later time. But Romans chapter 12 verse 19, I will be using today the NIV version. And I like to preference by telling you which versions because there are times I use different versions just specifically for the verbiage of it. Now, I'm sure some of you know this scripture. It's very a very familiar verse, and a lot of people quote it, but I'm going to give it to you right now. Here it is. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Vengeance is mine saith the Lord, I will repay. There ended the reading of the word. Now, let's talk about this for a moment. Somebody today, you need to let those words just marinate in your spirit. Marinate those words. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. In other words, you don't have to try to get revenge or take matters into your own hand against these people working against you, these people talking against you, these people doing evil things against you, these people saying things against you. And some of these people that's doing these things have been people that you love, people that you were loyal to, people who you trusted. You have got to understand vengeance is not for you to take. You don't have to go around and try to take matters into your own hands. Don't try to get back at people. You don't have to try to pay people back for their wrongdoing. Leave that to the Most High God. He will handle that. And no one can handle it the way he's going to handle it. He will ensure that justice is served. Oh, they might think they got away with something, but they may have down here. But down the line, it's going to come back again. Y'all know it's nothing like karma. They didn't get away with it. You've got to let God handle it. Justice will be served. It will be prevailed. The person who did you wrong or the persons, plural, who did you wrong, you've got to trust him to handle it. Now, I know that's a hard thing to do. That's a very difficult thing to do. But you know what? When you step in and try to handle it, you might act out of character. You might say some things that's out of character. You might not be able to control your emotions in the moment of anger or in that particular moment because that person may say something that just leads you to go left very, very fast. So you have got to let God handle those things. And I know, like I said, it's difficult. But let me say this. Revenge never gives you peace. Revenge is never a good thing that you're trying to get revenge on people. That's not going to serve you well because now all you're doing is the very thing that you don't like that they're doing. So you're acting like them and you don't want to fall into that. And another thing, don't cause them to have you slip and fall, okay? Don't, don't do that. And sometimes people do things to you just to have you act out of character and have you acting crazy around here. So they with their cronies can say, see, I told you, told you that's how they is. Told you that's who she was. Told you she ain't no good. So be careful of that. Let God handle it. Now, let, there's nothing like God's payback. Nothing you can say or do. It will never outweigh the vengeance that God will do. Let him take care of it because no matter what happens, whatever they've done, it will come back around to them. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Let them go ahead on and talk about you. Let them go ahead and gang up on you with their little friends or their little cronies and cohorts. Let them do them. But you stay right here and walk by faith. Stand on God's word and let God handle it. Thanks for watching. Protect your peace. 
always. Peace of mind is critical. I'll see you back tomorrow. This has been your midweek word.